this is Ross Harrison from Precision Health and Fitness and today I am going to talk about the bent row. The last video I did was the bent position, so if you haven't looked at that you may want to take a look at that first just because I'm not really going to go over everything in that and just assume that you know the basic postural position. So but basically we're dealing with hips back, knees bent, back flat, um, and other than that I'm not going to talk about it too much. But today I'm going to do this with the barbell. Um, obviously you can do it with dumbbells, you can do rows with cables, and a whole lot of other types of ways. Um, sticking with the bar just because it's pretty easy to demonstrate and there's a little less variation than with dumbbells. So, uh, but really what we're going to focus on is how to pull. Um, the, it's, it's a fairly simple movement, or at least it looks simple, but I've seen it done wrong so many different ways that I, I'm going to teach you the way that I like to teach it. Um, so I'm going to start with the bar, and the starting position really just have your arms hang down, and I like to start with whatever position my arm would naturally hang, that's about the width I'm going to have on the bar. So in, in this case, for me, it's about here. Turn this way a little bit. Um, you, you can definitely do them wider. Uh, this is just going to be a, a regular sort of neutral position. So then going into the bent position, and again, the bar is just hanging for the most part. My hands are just holding it. I'm not trying to hold it out in front of me or anything else. Just wherever gravity lets it hang, that's my start position. So from there, it's just pulling the bar towards the waist. So one of the simple things I see done wrong, other than postural issues, is pulling up. Like People want to turn it into essentially a, a form of a bicep curl. Um, at the for a second. The bent row is primarily a back exercise. Uh, your, your biceps, your forearms, everything else is going to work, but really you want to try to focus on especially your lats and your posture. So if the arms are coming up like this, the arms are doing a lot more work than they need to, so that means the back doesn't have to do as much work as it should. So the other thing is, again, as, as this will be a common theme, the push versus pull mentality. So it, it is by nature a pull, you're pulling the, ball, the bar towards you, but often people want to sort of almost turn it into like they're squeezing everything together, or you may see pulling themselves towards the bar, or you may see the shoulders want to be more active and just pull everything together. So here, here's a good way to, to think about it. So if I'm in this position, and if I'm pulling the bar towards me, then the shoulders really should open, at least a little bit. And if it feels like you're constricting, or you're pulling towards the center, and everything's coming in, chances are the wrong muscles are being used. Um, it's, it's very common, because the, the closer things are together, the easier they are. So it's, it requires more muscle to keep the shoulders wide, to keep the lats involved. But that's also where you're going to get the most value. Um, and especially if, if somebody's already much stronger in front than they are in back, those muscles are going to want to try to kick in as much as they can, and constricting the body and pulling in is a way to do that. So again, the more, the more those muscles are used instead of those, that's when over time you'll get that rounding posture that nobody really wants. So to do it correctly, just think pull. Think relax the forearms as much as you can. Try not to use your arms and just pull. And if, in this position, you should feel the lats kicking in. You should feel, um, you, you may feel, you, you'll feel some tension in the arms, some tension in the biceps, forearms. But as the bar gets closer to you, it's, the, the tightness should move up into the side of your body. Um, and there, there's different ways to do it. If you want, you can do it underhand. It's essentially the same exercise. It feels a little different. But as long as the focus is on the lats, which may actually take some time to develop, but think relax everything else, and the lats will do the work. If your shoulders are open, squeezing together, you've got a good row. And of course, there's the postural you should keep in mind. But if you can put all that together, even though it's a fairly simple motion, there's not a huge range of motion, 
it will train your body to really use some of the bigger back muscles that often don't get used. So that is the bent row with the barbell, and stay tuned for more videos. Thanks!